Moku, Moku, Moku. I am fucking bored. Fucking bored! I'm bored too, Jesse. I'm bored too! Oh no! You know, <laughs> I researched a man a while ago. Was it the Marquis de Sade? How did you know that? Okay. You know that he was one of the most famous pervs out there? You mean he's the most famous perv? Oh, well besides you, babe. Yes. He was a sexual deviant. <laughs> I'm just deviantly sexy. So this guy had some pretty sick fantasies that were gathered up and turned into good old-fashioned reading material. But most people found it pretty disturbing. I mean, he talked about things like rape, incest, bestiality, pedophilia, BDSM. Ow! Hurts so good. Homosexuality. Sodomy. You get the point. It's a matter of opinion, really. Some call it immoral. I call it a badass party. I actually slept better than I have in a long time after reading his stuff. Does that make me a bad person? Probably. Put on your chastity belts, ladies and gents. It's time for some twisted history. The Marquis de Sade was a French aristocrat in the 1700s, a revolutionary, and a famous writer for his interesting topics. Uh, yeah, he was a freak. The dude spent about 32 years of his life in prison because he couldn't keep it his pants. Gee whiz! Can you imagine the testimonies from the girls, guys, animals, and inanimate objects he probably perved on? <laughs> it was so horrible! Yeah, so, uh, I ain't never been with this bitch, but I've been hearing all sorts of stories from the other girls. He invited my friend back to a place he called his love shack. La la love shack. Yeah, I don't know. That guy was doing dudes up the butthole. <laughs> Can you believe that shit? The butthole. <laughs> <laughs> The butthole. Here's my question. I'm, I'm just a little curious about this. Um, why is it that he was only locked up for such small periods of time? They'd catch him, give him a slap on the wrist, and then let him fly, fly away. And then he'd go out and do it again! <laughs> oh, oh, oh y'all, that's not. <laughs> y'all like some delicate flow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Marquis. We just got word in the office that you were raping people again. You just got out of prison an hour ago. You really want to head back, kiddo? Rape? What is this rape? Does it look like I'm raping anyone in here? Help! He's a rapist! Arrest him, please! You shut up! You shut up! You dirty little baguette! <laughs> she is so funny, no? She, she's so funny. We like to put her on display sometimes because she makes us all go, hee hee hee, like the little school girls. Yes, the little school girls with their sexy little panties. Oh, but I didn't rape them, no. No. Why are you still here staring at me with those those obnoxious piggy pig pig eyeballs of yours? Why do you do this, Marquis? Can't you think of another way to get your kicks and giggles? I have an idea. Why don't you whore yourself out to 50 fat chicks for $1,000? Or five really fat chicks for 10000 <laughs> Something tells me you are very knowledgeable in the whoring of the fat women. I am the stout. Me. The one you call the scary deviant of sex. In the end, the Marquis ended up going to an insane asylum, where he became morbidly obese, and lived out his fantasies through literature. He even got to write and produce his own plays, using the crazy people as actors. To be or not to be! <laughs> what was my line again? We hope you scumbags learn something. History is fun. When it all comes down to it, we're all a little devious. Don't you think?